have any idea how the Lakers are going to be placed here currently. Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome in the fridge, about to buy suitcase TV. I'm Cody. All right, this segment we like to call Yo, Who Dat? And on today's segment, we have Diana Rossini. Yo, Who Dat? Diana Marie Rossini, born February 11th, 1983, is an American sports journalist who currently works as an NFL host, reporter, inside analyst for ESPN on NFL Countdown and NFL Live. Rossini joined ESPN and became Sports Center anchor in July 2015. Prior to being hired on ESPN, she worked as the main sports anchor for WRC TV in Washington, D.C. Hometown's New Jersey, and her mother got that real thick accent, you know, that she got from her mother. Oh, Eric, if my daughter could find anyone that looked like Jimmy Garoppolo, I would be the happiest mother. Every guy she brings in this house, he can't change a toilet, he can't cook, and he looks like a rat. Born in the Bronx. Rossini grew up in Norwood, New Jersey, and attended Northern Valley Regional High School at Old Tappan, where she was All-State in soccer, basketball, softball, and track. She played women's soccer for four seasons at George Mason University. At the time she joined the network, she was the youngest reporter hired by WNBC in New York City as a reporter. She moved on to sports soon after moving to Seattle. In July 2015, Rossini joined ESPN after Disney executive saw her sports cast in DC. She was soon picked up by ESPN to anchor Sports Center. All right, so basically she started doing sports in Washington, and then Disney saw her and was like, yep, you're coming to ESPN, and that's a wrap. It was announced that Rossini would join ESPN's coverage for the XFL as a silent reporter alongside Tom Luchinbill on Saturday afternoon's games. This was kind of a discovery for me uh, by request, and I can see why, because, you know, I mean, look at this. This is what you might call a thoroughbred, okay? Okay, so some fun facts. Her favorite teams growing up were the Yankees and Giants. Uh, it said when she was in kindergarten, she ran an eight-minute mile and broke a bunch of records. This is your question about our dynamic. I asked her, well, why did you take up the saxophone? To which she responded, because it sounded like sex. To which I responded, we are so different. <laughs> All right, so she is engaged right now. She's not married. Um, she's trying to keep her boyfriend and everything all under wraps, all real hush-hush. Real suspicious activities, if you ask me. Uh, so she was telling some story about how some guy like comments all the time about her feet. So while she's telling the story, I took a picture of her feet. Uh, she didn't realize it. And my thought was, there will be a day when... I just will send her feet to her and just say, thinking of you. So in college, she got offers for basketball and track, but she decided to go with soccer because that's what she liked the most. My final thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. That's the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit a comment down below. It's in the fridge. Lights are out. Things are cool. And butter's getting hard. And soup kids cooking. We out.